Hey guys, Preston here from Tactical Works. Uh, today, in this episode, we're going to be replacing an extractor on a 6.5 Grendel bolt. Um, it was uh, broken off, I guess, somewhere in, the, in a firing process. Uh, just snapped the top of the extractor off. Um, so today we're going to be replacing this. Um, with a 6.5 Grendel extractor kit, uh, 0.136 inch from Black Rifle Arms. Um, pretty good, uh, pretty good CNC machine product. Um, run about twenty-four dollars uh, online. Um, not many people make uh, an extractor for you know just an extractor kit for a broke. Um, for a broke uh, Grendel extractor, so um, these guys got a pretty good product. All right, so um, start out by uh, by knocking the clip out. Um, let's see, we'll pull the clip out. Um, which is our firing pin retainer uh, firing pin slides out again uh, AR-15 style rifle it is a uh, floating firing pin uh, next you want to come back with the bolt head as you can see you want to turn the block uh, horizontally and just take your punch or whatever whatever tool you got and it comes full straight out like so put all the parts in the bowl here alright and our bolt head pulls straight out There's our broke extractor there. Everything looks good on it, uh, except except the extractor. So, um, what we'll have to do is we'll have to punch the pin out, the extractor pin here. Which is relatively easy um, you want to keep your uh, your finger on it once you remove the, the pin completely um, because there is a spring in there so um, don't want stuff flying all over the place there's our extractor now on the extractor we have an o-ring and it looks like we are missing the spring as well so, extractor, you've got an O-ring. If I can get the camera to focus. So, anyways. Take the O-ring off. Uh, looks like our spring is on there, but it's broke. So, we'll throw the old one to the side. And we'll take our new, which comes with the O-ring. It comes with a new pin. And it comes with a new spring. So, what we'll do is you want to put... You want to put your spring... You want to put your spring in the little hole, just like that, and we'll take the O-ring, and it will go around the spring,
All right. Just like so. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take and we will put our extractor and see the difference here between the broke one and the new one. Get the camera to focus here. There we go. So the tooth is broke off of it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take and we'll put our spring back in. And we will slide our extractor in. And you'll have to put a little bit of pressure on it. Get the pin lined up correctly. Just take your hammer gently gently knock it in take a flat punch here all right so our pin is all the way in so there we have it, new extractor. Everything should function correctly now. So to reassemble this, we'll take and make sure that your extractor is on the right side of the bolt. All right, we'll get that in there. Take our pin, again horizontally going back in as well. And then we want to turn it vertically because the firing pin slides through here. There we go. All right, and then we will come out our firing pin will go in and then we want to replace our cotter pin we'll just give it a bit of a tap there we go sure that it's inside the bolt carrier group and voila new extractor everything's good to go thanks for watching hope you guys learned something from this